Hello guys and welcome to today's video. I am still here in the same clothes as my last two videos doing once again another Super Dave Boys song because why not? I'm trying to go through all the album. I think I've got like three songs left on it from this after this song. I've got three songs left. I have a really dry mouth. But anyways, uh, thank you guys for all the love. I hope by the time this video goes out I've hit two K subs because I'm seven away. So from my kind of calculations from each video I got a couple of subscribers. I should have had it by the time this video is out. So if I have, thank you all very much for the 2k subscribers. I am so happy because of it. Um, obviously if I haven't hit 2k by this video then, um, then thank you in advance for when I do. <laughs> but anyways guys, today we're about to do... Now I cannot pronounce this. I will try. If I get it wrong, please don't hate me. <laughs> um, we're reacting to Cru de Vue. Cru de Vue. And the other name apparently is Comedy and Tragedy because that's in the brackets. Um, hair's falling out my head. Um, comedy and Tragedy. Cru de Vue. Cru de Vue. That sounds about right. It's like French almost. <laughs> Probably isn't, um, but it sounds it. So 265,118 views um, and it was out on the new album, uh, I Want to Die in New Orleans, but let's just get right into it to get today guys. Um, please follow me on this, what? Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and please follow me on Instagram, it's very much appreciated. Let's get to it. Oh, it's different. It's slower already. Beat though. I can just imagine seeing them live and it would be like going through your body. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Literally finished with that wee dial up tone there. Okay, guys, that was very good. I love that song. Um, different from all the other ones, I preferred the other songs to this one. This is like the first song that I've not been like, whoa, oh my god. But it was very good. It was still a good 9 out of 10 for me. Maybe a, yeah, a 9 out of 10. Um, first of all, the beat was much more of a sort of negative tone to it. It was a, f I think it, in the music world you call it a something, a flat. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, it's <laughs> It was a much more negative tone to the music. Obviously the song's called Comedy and Tragedy, which I did get the impression of from the whole vibe of the song. Um, such as towards the end and stuff, Scrim was maybe the tragedy part and maybe it was maybe the comedy part. Um, but overall, the song itself was very good. The beat was very quite negative sounding, quite sad, sinister sounding, um, and the piano was quite creepy as well. But it was still really good. Um, Ruby's part was very much, because it was such a short song as well, I think they didn't get to show as much of their rapid ability as they have done in other songs. 
So Ruby, Ruby only wrapped his part, which was really, really good. And it was the way I like him to wrap is that way. It's really good. And then Scrim did his traditional, and then he went even lower, which was insane. Um, so it was very good in that sense as well. Such a short song. I think for this song it suits being that short because obviously for me I'm, I wasn't like super enthusiastic about it because it isn't my favourite song off the album, I'll be completely honest. So because of that I'm like oh I'm quite glad it's 144 because I did still like it but there was a, I'm waiting for a more sort of boom sort of song. However the beat in that song, I can imagine if you went to see them live, as I've already said, it would just shake your body. Like if you've ever been to a gig such as Korn, I went to see Korn um, last year, yeah last year, and the bass from that gig made me feel sick because it was so deep the bass, it was a like, shook your whole body, I felt horrendously sick because of it, um, but it was still a really good gig, I mean Limp Bizkit were better but still, um, anyways, it, is, it was a very good song. I give it a 9 out of 10. It does link up very well with the rest of the album as well. I'm kind of looking at it on a whole album sort of way because all the songs seem to link up with each other as well and all you guys have been telling me that they do. So I know they do. Um, so yeah, it does really link up with other songs. I just feel there was other ones from the album which are more stronger. But on an album, you're always going to get songs that are more stronger than other songs. So for me, this is one of the ones that I listen to, but I don't mind listening to the other songs a bit more than this one. Anyways guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I'm currently losing my voice because my throat is really sore. Um, but please subscribe to my channel and please follow me on Instagram, it would be very much appreciated. And I will see you all next time.